subtracting one and one half minus one third. The first thing we notice about our fractions is that they don't have a common denominator. This means our one piece for one half is going to be a different size as our piece would be for one third. So the first thing we need to do is find a common multiple of two and three so we can create equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Multiples of two include two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. Multiples of three include three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, and so on. The first one they have in common is six, so we're going to use this as our common denominator. To get from one half to six, I multiply my denominator of two by three to give me six. Since I multiplied my denominator by three, I need to multiply my numerator by three as well. One times three gives me three, so one and a half is equivalent to one and three sixths. I then need to do the same thing with one third. To get from three to six, I need to multiply by two. Since I multiplied my denominator by two, I need to multiply my numerator by two as well. One times two is two, so one third is equivalent to two sixths. This means I have one and three sixths minus two sixths, so I can simply take away two pieces, which leaves us with the final difference of one and one sixth. We're subtracting two and three fourths and one sixth. The first thing we notice about four and six is that they don't have a common denominator. When I find their least common multiple of four and six, that comes out to be 12. To get from a denominator of four to a denominator of 12, I need to multiply by three. Since I multiplied my denominator by three, I need to multiply my numerator by three as well. So three fourths is equivalent to nine twelfths. We can then do the same thing for one six. I multiply six times two to give me 12. That means I need to multiply my numerator by two as well. So one six is equivalent to two twelfths. Now we can subtract. We know the denominator and our solution is going to be 12. I can now subtract my numerators. 9 minus 2 gives me 7, and on my whole numbers, 2 take away nothing leaves me with 2. This means my final solution comes out to be 2 and 7 twelfths.